Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Today I'm really excited because it's my first time going dog sledding. If you ever been, comment below. I love to hear. I am off to go with Caroline Blair. She is the owner of Mornington Crescent Sled Dogs. And I never <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So I'm heading downstairs right now. She's actually waiting. So let's go. sled dog team and I've raised every single one of these dogs from a teeny tiny pup either newborn or eight weeks old they're my friends and family and I hope you enjoy being with them yeah so I'm really excited about today Caroline can you share with my subscribers how you started your business in the middle of junior year trying to figure out what am I gonna do with my life and wasn't finding it so my mom bought me this trip and I don't know what expectations she had I think it was just little bit of a treat probably just a clarifying exercise yeah but I went out there spent the time with the dogs um, spent some time working very closely um, with a group of five other people and two instructors and on the plane ride home from that expedition um, I wrote an application to become an instructor for the Hurricane Island Hour Event School cool. and I chose Hurricane because they had a sailing program and I knew how to sail that nice. started my career and we're covered with sweat, sweat glands yeah. and we can, we can dispel heat. The dogs yeah, are the they're opposite. Yeah. They're extremely furry. They don't sweat. All they can do to release heat is pant and um, that's just less efficient. So at negative 10 it feels like they can run forever. Oh, oh. As it gets up towards freezing, we'll just stop and let them roll around and cool them down. Yeah. Hey there. So this is one of the puppies. That's Martin. Oh, this is the puppy? <laughs> yeah, oh, that, that is a Martin. Puppy. <laughs> Martin, hi. Hi there. Hi there. Hi. Hi there. This is Fisher. He's Martin's brother. Fisher, hi. He's the shire of the two, so we'll just need a little extra time with you. Yeah. These two are one. Squamish is four, and Score here is a ten-year-old. He's a veteran. Ten? Oh, I just fell, you guys. <laughs> right off the edge of the room. Right. Oh, look at my little, my new friend. Fisher is still shy. So. Yep. So I'm so excited, you guys. We're setting up right now. There are the dogs. There's Callum. That's also for the anchor as well, the ropes. This is the gang line. This oh. is what we use to attach all the dogs to the sled. Okay. And this will keep them in position and comfortable pulling. Okay. That'll make more sense once it's laid out on the trail. Oh. The toggles will slide 
get through little loops at the backs of the harnesses and just turn sideways. Okay. And that's where the dogs pull from. Oh, okay, cool. The lead dogs have a neckline that just connects them collar to collar that helps them work together. Just okay. Keep them moving together. So starting in front of the sled, the dogs in that position, those are your strong steady pullers. They've got the most direct connection to the sled. They bear the brunt of getting the sled moving from a standstill. They wrestle it around corners. They're sort of the unsung heroes of the dog team. Okay. The dogs in front of them are called team dogs. Team dogs. The dogs behind the leaders are called point dogs. Point dogs. They help swing the sled around corners. Oh, okay. And then the lead dogs, these are the steering wheel of the operation. So they're the ones? They are the ones that respond to the commands, G for right, mm -hmm. paw for left. Um, G over to get to the right side of the trail, on by to ignore distraction. Um, straight ahead if there's a junction and you want them to go straight. They've got a pretty good vocabulary. Hmm. But the thing to note about all of this is that it's all made of rope. Yeah. It's all soft. So there's no reins like on a horse where I can turn their head. Yeah. Or in some way force them to go where I want them to go. There's also nothing pushing them. There's yeah. no rigid shafts like there would be for oxen or whatever. So it's just all dumb. <laughs> it means that this is a dog-powered sport in yeah. every sense of the word. Yeah. So our job on the back of the sled is to make sure they're enjoying what they're doing. Okay. Because it's relationship-based. Yeah. We're, we're doing verbal communication with the leaders. And the whole team goes as fast as the slowest dog feels like going. Yeah. And using the brakes on the sled, we just keep them going at that pace and just make sure everybody has a good day. I'm excited! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> So Caroline just dropped me off to the hotel. It was an amazing experience, breathtaking. I just wanted to cry because I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this. And seeing so much beautiful, just beautiful scenery. Like, uh, go dog sledding. Go do something different, you know? Dude, I had so much fun. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Show the sideways, smack it, smack it in the air. 